Hey YouTube, Sam here. Alright, I don't know if you can see this, so I kind of rounded over the corners on all the edges here. Yet again, this is for a real young one, you'd have to do a lot more than this. Um, I'm just doing this to kind of get some of the uh, bigger slivers off the corners, keep the, the bottom part here from chipping out a whole bunch on the floor. Something else I did, I took the screws, screwed a couple at the bottom, and it did crack a little bit. Now you could glue and screw this if you want, but this is plenty for me. You guys choose what you want to do. Uh, but I did take the screws and put one here, one here, one here, one, you know, went back and forth to keep it from racking too much. Uh, yet again, these are not perfectly straight or by any means. But what I did is I actually put the screws on the inside. So when you see the leg, there's no screws in it at all. Um, that way it just kind of keeps it a little bit cleaner from the outside. I also used the best 2x4s that I had for the outside ones. Uh, right here, got it set so it does the 45. Put it on there, mark it. Take the chop saw, cut it to 45. I got a couple long ones and several of these short ones. And to cut that, I just took the chop saw to it, took it, actually flip this piece around put the marking piece I use the same piece to mark each time put that up like that marked it and then cut it again that way you don't have to move this back and forth to to do that most people know that just a little tip there so got all my pieces cut out now we gotta drill them I'm considering the headboard part this is gonna be up against the wall uh, and I've already put this one together to give you kind of an idea what it'll look like. And basically you just have your your legs on either side and your cross piece just sits right on top of the 2x4 like that. And I put a couple screws in here for now. Uh, so that's kind of what we're doing. I'm going to get both those done. I'm going to put the side stretchers on the exact same way, only it'll go from the corner here to the corner on the back one, which will put a side stretcher there. All right, well, I'm in my son's closet here trying to get back far enough to kind of see the whole thing, so hopefully you can see that. That's just kind of the basic frame of it right there. But there's the, I did have a problem with my camera shutting off, I noticed uh, when I was doing the cross braces here, or the, uh, these angled corner braces. And there's the long ones I did up front there. And then in each of the corners, other corners, I did these smaller ones. Uh, like that so that just kind of helps it from you know rocking this way or rocking that way a little bit better so anyhow there's the frame all said and done I'm gonna go ahead and put the bed on top and we'll see how it works. This took apart that top piece that had the uh, the whole frame basically that went underneath the bed I took these four pieces uh, they look like that and I went ahead and put a 2x4 across here. There's another one going across here. And I don't have enough 2x4s. I might put another one across here, but right now this is all I have to get this done. And I have taken and kind of screwed that in to all the spots with these uh, two here anyway so far. Uh, so basically it's kind of like if you put boards across there. Uh, I've pushed on it, sat on it, messed around with it and it seems plenty strong enough to hold me so it should definitely hold my son anyhow little update here so in case you decide you want to do something similar or if you decide the bed was too high and didn't want to uh, deal with making a ladder or something like that this might help you out all right and there it is all said and done so hopefully it'll be a little bit more useful All right, and there's a big reason why we did it here. Uh, so we can get all his stuff up underneath here. And there's room for a lot more. I just kind of shoved a bunch of stuff underneath there to make sure <laughs> things would fit. But luckily that measurement now is correct, and I can get all the stuff in underneath there I want. All right, this is Sam. Jack of all, master of none. You all have a good one.